Uh, you're fighting a guy who is predominantly a, a grappler and, and on the ground. Have you picked up any good tricks in terms of like armbar offense or uh, you know grappling defense essentially? Uh, yeah, I'm con like you said, I'm, I'm relatively new to the sport, so I'm constantly learning. And having a coach like Ricky Lindell and and uh, Neil Mohansen and, and Ray Seffo and you know I, I just started working this camp with Josh Barnett and having them really like kind of mentor me and, and help me out. I mean, those guys are a cornucopia of knowledge that will never end. You know, they, they, any one of those guys have probably forgotten more than I know. You know what I mean? So, so their ability to teach me is endless. What was the experience like when Josh walked into the gym knowing that you, you elbowed him unconscious a few years ago? Well, I had a, I had a good talk with Josh, you know. Um, I feel like uh, like I'm a man, you know what I mean? Like I'm not someone to uh, like. If there's conflict or something like that. I'll, I'm gonna approach it head on, right? So I got Josh's number. You know, first I asked the person who had his number. I said, "Hey, we asked Josh if it's okay if I get his number. I just want to talk to him." Um, I called him. You know, I text him and say, "Hey, man, you know." Uh, I'd like to have like five, ten minutes of your time. Can we meet up and have coffee or something? And um, knowing that he was upset about, not about how the fight went, you know, he, he's very professional in the way that, you know, hey, you win, you win and you lose. It is what it is. But I know that he was upset, you know, that I did his thing after the fight, you know, sitting your throat and thumbs down. And, and I wanted, to, and so I, when I sat down with him, it was really the first time that I allowed myself to really come to an understanding of how much of a legend that guy is in our sport. You know, like, dude, the, the guy's 20 years deep into this sport. And, you know, at the time, getting ready for him, in my mind, I was like, so I'm going to knock this guy out. I didn't let myself feel anything other than that. And when I sat down with him, I didn't even know what I was going to say, right? And I was just like, man, I let my guard down a little bit. And I, I just told him, I was like, look, dude, we fought. Everything happened the way it happened. I was jacked. I was like, holy shit, right? Like, biggest win of my career. And it was emotional, and it was just adrenaline. And I, I did that. I did his move after the fight. And I just looked at him, and I said, man, I'm sorry. It was, I'm not making excuses. I'm telling you right now that it was wrong for me to do that. That's your thing. And, and it wasn't a jab at him. It wasn't trying to like be like, oh, F you or anything like that. Cause like, you know, beforehand my, my experiences with him were completely normal and fine, you know? And that was my fault. And, and I took fault for that to his face, sitting across the table from him. You know, I gave him a chance to speak and I listened. I didn't know if he was going to be like, hey, man, you know, that's cool of you to do. Or if he was going to be like, yeah, you know what? Fuck you. you know, what was I his response? He was a man about it. He, he took, I mean, he's coaching me now. You know what I mean? He's working with me now. So, you know, he, he took it the best way I could ever imagine. But, um, you know, with that is just... You know, you, when you open yourself up like that, which people don't do anymore, you know, they, they protect themselves. They're all about them and, and selfish. And I, like I said, I didn't know what, he, what his response was going to be. I don't know what kind of dude he was. I just knew that I needed to do that. Like, it was just something back in my mind, you know. And, and that was back last November, you know, and, and everything was fine. Like, we, we, didn't, we didn't really, we're not like, we weren't besties. That we weren't like, hey man, what are you doing? You want to go get lunch or something like that? It wasn't like that. It was like we're cool. Here I got engaged. He's like, hey man, congrats on, on the engagement. And I was like, oh thanks man, appreciate that. And then we get the call that I'm fighting Alexi, and you know his style and Alexi's style, the catch wrestling, the submissions, all that kind of stuff. They're very similar. And and I so I called him up. I took a chance. I took a chance. I was like, hey man, I really like to work with you if you have the time. You know, and he, he sound, yeah, so he's like, he's really busy doing his thing and all this kind of stuff. He's, he see, he'll see what he can do and he's able to clear out about four or five days for me. 
um, a couple weeks ago, and then you know while I'm out here, I'm working with him, and um, you know he's he's been awesome about it. And I you know had another talk with him and talking about you know coaching me and being consistent while I'm out here in California, you know between fights and all that stuff. And man, he's he's a great guy. He really is. He's a good dude. He's a solid dude. You know and maybe we don't give other people that chance because we're caught up in our own thing but I'm really happy that I did you know and, and that's and that's who I am as a person you know like I, I'm it wasn't even about training like I said it was last November and we hadn't talked until six weeks ago you know so it is what it is but I'm glad I, I'm, I'm very happy with it. will he be cornering you uh, he won't be cornering me for this fight um, hopefully, future fights he'll he'll be there. So is, he will be. If, he won't be your main coach, or just one of one of. Your He's coaches? gonna be one of my three coaches. Yeah. So I have Ray Sefo, Ricky Lindell, and Barnett in the future. So obviously, as a fighter, oh. I came in a little late on that. When you say Travis, um, when you were talking about Barnett during Barnett saying talk about the throat slashing. Yeah. Judge, okay. Yeah. Cool, just wanted to yeah. That's why. That, that's where you know I took a little too far. You know, and I, if I had a signature move like that, I'd I'd be upset about it too. Sure. And so I think, sure. you know, like I was saying earlier, a little bit of understanding really helps you in those situations, knowing where he's coming from. What can you tell us? Like, what what's the biggest thing you've learned from Josh when you were working with him? So, dude, there's a reason why he's a legend. Sure. Like, the guy is a great fighter. He really is. And to be honest, I'm I'm glad the fight went the way it did because. You know, we've been training together, and I'm like, holy shit, <laughs> you know? Sure. So, yeah, sure. it's been good. So, uh, what, what was it that you think that, that you, why you guys quit? Because obviously, as a fighter, you have to have an ego, and, you know, you're both, uh, you know, big guys in the sport. What was the that you think? I think it's that I took the time. You know, I think that he... I didn't, I didn't even think he was, I, I wasn't even really aware of that until he said that. He's like, man, you know what, like, it's really cool that you that you wanted to meet up with me, not just send me a, hey man, I'm sorry about that, the shit they did in our fight through a text message or whatever, you know, like I wanted to sit in front of him and give the guy my full attention and know that I was serious about it. I wasn't just bullshitting. I wasn't just trying to, you know, feel good about myself. It was, you know, an attempt to make peace with what happened. How do we describe you now? Are you from Venice? Are you from Riverside? Are you from Vegas? Obviously Hawaii. Where from you, Hawaii. Where do you live now, though? Everywhere? Yeah. Yeah, wherever there's uh Wherever the mountains are, wherever the ocean is, that, that's my home. Yeah. <laughs> Venice, that's Riverside, my, that's, Vegas. That's where that's where I spend my time. You know, I know, right? Home, honestly, my your home is wherever your heart is. And, right. You know, my heart's with my family. Um, it's with my children, with with Rhonda, and and that's my home. Everything else is just where I'm at physically.